Okay, so my water softener is ready uh, for connection to the house. First thing I need to do is I need to move it in place. In this case, this is where I want to install a water softener. I'm going to start with the inlet and the outlet connections. On the water softener, the inlet and the outlet connections are clearly marked with these arrow labels that indicate in and out. Um, on the bypass it's even marked also in, out, and there's some additional arrows there also, so make sure that you do not switch around the inlet and the outlet. I'm going to start with the inlet. I have these gaskets. And first I'm going to connect the flexible hose to the inlet of the water softener. Like this. And this one you may want to tighten it. Do not over tighten it, but you want to tighten it with this. Install the other gasket, the other side, and I can simply screw it onto the three quarters of an inch male adapter in the plumbing. This same thing here. It. And then of course the same thing for the outlet. Two gaskets. First I connect it to the outlet adapter on the valve of the softener. And then I go to the adapter in the house. Tighten it slightly. Yes. Inlet and outlet are now connected, so onto the drain. This is my drain tube coming from the control valve. I'm going to insert it into this stand pipe with siphon. Now, you cannot just insert it straight away into this stand pipe. It's absolutely necessary that you provide an air gap between the outlet of the drain tube and the system, the sewerage system in the house. Let me first cut it length, something like this. So, it's not allowed to just put it in like this. The reason for that is that in case of a backflow from your sewerage system, in this case, there might be bacterial contamination that moves up from the sewerage system into your water softener. So this is not allowed and it's definitely not allowed to seal this off because in that case you could even have water, drain water, flowing back into your water softener. So, in fact, this is the way you want to do it. There should be a visible gap between the outlet of your drain tube and your uh, standpipe in the house. Now, there are some air gaps available on the market, like this one. You can just insert it into the pipe and then you just slide the drain tube over it. Like this. Last thing we need to do is the electrical connection. So here I have my plug in transformer. The outlet cord of the transformer. Goes into this power cord on the water softener. I just plug it in like this and on the power cord on the softener you have this little twist lock 
connector that you can use to secure the connection. And then all I have to do is simply plug my transformer into this wall socket. That's it, the water softener is now connected to your house.